Hello, I'm Brent Ferris, and this is part two of our Gearman stuff. So in this one, we're actually going to be writing out some PHP code, seeing how it works, and we're going to use the same box, um, and I'll explain how you can use a different box later. Um, so we're going to start off by creating a... Um, we'll create our worker first. So we'll nano, and we'll just call it worker.php. And in here, we can create our worker object. Our worker is going to be a new gearman worker. Our worker uh, needs to add a server. So worker add server. And we're going to put in local host here uh, because we're going to be working with this particular server. If we're working with a different server, since this is the worker, and I'll explain what a worker is in a minute, you're actually going to put the gearman server IP address or uh, domain name or however you want to do your routing in here. So basically you have to put the host in this area and you want to put local host unless, you were, unless your server was on the same box as a worker. So Gearman has two types. It has a client and it has a worker. And it has a, a server which doesn't isn't part of those two types because it doesn't uh, contain your own code. So a worker is a, a job that fires off and you'll probably create a worker on the, your web server. Um, that is accepting the request from the user and a worker or uh, a client will actually call to a worker a worker is on a another machine somewhere else on the internet or in your within your network and that a worker is actually what it sounds like it does all the work all the overhead so the client will send a request to the worker the worker will do some logic and then it will return a response to the client and uh, the client can then save it to a database or uh, whatever it needs to do. So we have uh, our add server, and now we're going to add our function. So this is going to be a very basic Gearman. I'll do another video on how to do a more advanced Gearman box where you can actually add in multiple tasks and fire them all at once. Uh, but this is going to be a synchronous task. It's going to send out to the worker, the worker is going to complete, and then it's going to respond to the client. So worker add function. We're going to add in a, a function named reverse, and this is uh, based on the tutorial on their site. I'm just going to explain how it works, and then we'll do our own. Uh, and we're going to call it, uh, we'll, we'll just call it do reverse. Okay, and we're going to say while and make our infinite loop. So while we yeah, have worker work is the function and then we say function we're gonna declare the signature of the function uh, that we said it was here so do reverse so function do reverse and this is gonna be the function that's called when the client uh, asks for behaviors to to happen so I'm gonna return a str rev which is the string reverse job uh, is what is getting passed into this function and it's just a gearman job uh, which is a class you can look it up and see what kind of uh, things it has but we're going to use the workload function which is basically what we're passing the data you which is going to be a string uh, the data that we're passing to this and it's important to know that you have to call return on this function so basically the client's going to call this worker and this worker is going to return this function call and what happens inside of there. So now that we have our client, let's create, or now that we have our worker, let's create our client. Um, we're going to say nano client.php. And in here, we're just going to set up our client code. We're going to create a client is equal to a new gearman client. We're going to do client add server, and since this client this client is on the same box as the server, we're not going to pass anything. That basically just assigns it to localhost. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to echo out um, client do, which is uh, us saying do this on the worker. We're going to call reverse, which is the handle we gave it. We're going to look back at the worker for this, and we're going to pass in. Hello, Monica. And that's our string that we're going to send over to it. Okay, and that's all we need to do uh, as long as there's no error. So I'm going to nano my worker again uh, to show you. 
we called do reverse as reverse. So this is the string that you're going to type into your client and it's going to match to this function name which we have here. So now if all is working out well I can start up a background job for uh, the Gearman worker. So I'm going to do PHP worker put an ampersand at the end so that it starts up and there's its process ID it's running in the background of the server right now and now I'll do PHP client and when I do that you can see it reversed the string here and again I forgot a new line so I'm gonna nano my client I'm gonna add a new line And now if I run my client again, you'll see that it actually reversed the string. So our worker is working, and it's also important to note that whenever a worker executes a method, it continues running in the background. This is a long-lived process. So if you have any problems, you should kill the worker. Uh, you can use this process ID to kill that worker if you want. Um, and that's basically it. So that's how we can get uh, this whole thing working um, on one server. And of course, like I said, if you what you're actually going to do is you're going to take this worker code and put it on another server or another box, and you're going to set the add server. By doing that, uh, you're going it's going to allow uh, whenever it calls that function, it actually registers itself with the Gearman server to let it know that it's a worker. So you don't have to do any extra work. Um, there is one important note. You do have to open up port, uh, port number 4730 in order on the server, on the Gearman server, because that is the port, that's its default port that it uses. So if you do not open that up and you set up a worker on another box, it won't be able to connect to Gearman and say that it's a worker. So it's going to just start the process and it's going to run forever or crash uh, because it couldn't connect to the Gearman server. So that's how you could do some basic logic where you can fire off a client uh, script and it'll shoot off to a worker. The worker will do a job and respond to the client. It's important to note that the client will be um, synchronous. So the client with that client script will stay alive until the worker is done. And the reason it's important to note that is because if you call uh, if you call client code within your web page, your web page is going to freeze until the worker is done. Uh, loading and that may be the behavior you want um, which is completely okay because it's not eating up your server CPU since it offloaded the work on another server but maybe you want to take the send the user to a different page saying hey your things being processed we'll let you know when it's done and then set up your other stuff in the background so that's it for this video we're gonna get another test in the next video for how to do add task which allows you to add multiple tasks and uh, I'll show you how to run multiple workers to show you that it's actually distributed and it's not uh, it's not synchronous. So um, thanks for watching. Until next time.